Hey everyone, and welcome to my video on how to eat a persimmon. And this this is a persimmon. And let me give you a. It, it basically looks like a tomato, and there are two different kinds of um, persimmons. This kind, which is the good kind, and then the bad kind, which is the other kind. Um, so this kind looks almost exactly in shape to a tomato, um, but I think um, sometimes it can be tomato colored. But this is. Um, the, um, I, I think they get a little. Persimmons get a little bit darker than. This this, but not very much. And then I think the, um, the top looks a little bit different than a tomato, but you can see that it's still kind of tomato-y. And then the bottom um, also also looks like a tomato. So so it's a little bit different than a tomato. Um, if you um, if you cut them in half, and I'm not going to cut I'm not going to cut this in half because um, I'm going to eat it whole, and um, instead of eating it in halves, just to show you that you can eat um, a, a whole persimmon. So. Um, yeah. So, so there are two types of persimmons. This is, uh, this is, I think, the Fuyu persimmon. I think it was grown in Thailand. They, um, they only grow them in the north of Thailand, and they only grow them in the fall. So I think, um, I think it's kind of like fall season now. So I think, um, I think that's why they're in stock. But most, most persimmons come from China, um, and this, this one might have come from China. Um, sometimes they have tags on. This one didn't have any tag on, and I just bought from, um, I just bought it at the store or like the street. Uh, what, uh, what do you call street fruit stands? So they have a lot of street fruit stands. Just um, some some lady selling a whole bunch of fruit, and um, and I I bought this persimmon. So I like to eat them chilled. So I um, took this, threw it in the fridge for a few days, and na and here it is. So the the thing about Thailand is pretty much all stuff in Thailand they like to eat um, not very ripe. So I'm pretty sure that this, um, I'm pretty sure that the corresponding persimmon in another country would be much more, much riper than this, but it's, um, th th this is really delicious, whatever state of ripeness this is. And, oh, and that's, that's probably the reason why they have this kind, not the other kind, because the other kind has to be super ripe and just Thai people eat their food, um, relatively green. So, so like one common, um, dessert is green mangoes, like, like mangoes that are so green that they're sour, um, dipped in like salt, salty, sugary, spicy mix. Um, and I guess you could do the same thing with a persimmon, but um, I've actually never seen a Thai person eating a persimmon. So um, I just see them at all the little um, fruit stalls. So, oh, and and I was telling you there, there are two types of persimmon. Um, astringent, which is the other kind that looks more like a bell pepper. It looks, well, I think there are some tomatoes that look like it, but it looks like a uh, uh, bell pepper shaped tomato. And then this persimmon that uh, looks like a, I, I don't know what kind of tomato this looks like, but like a, a sandwich tomato that's like long and, um, and anyway, so, um, so, so, so this is the delicious kind. If you get the kind that looks like a bell pepper or is like this, th um, this tall, then be really careful because pretty much everyone that tries those really, um, really just dislikes them. And the other kind, they have to be super, super ripe. Otherwise they taste terrible like cotton balls, but this, uh, um, this kind, um, can be like this level of ripeness or, or riper and they still um, they still taste really good so anyway um, remember non-astringent fuyu persimmon is delicious all the other persimmons you're taking a huge big risk so um, the only thing you need to eat a persimmon is the persimmon and I have my paper towels on hand just in case um, things get out of hand so oh and and, and like I said if um, the first time you're eating it cut, cut it in half because it has like a really cool design in the middle um, it it doesn't really look like tomatoes there's more like uh, what, what do you call it like flesh and less like seeds but but I, um, I'm sure the seeds are in here but they they're they're the they're really um, tiny so so basically you can eat the whole thing um, so I will start eating the persimmon and that's my first bite out of the persimmon actually the first time I tried a persimmon I thought oh Am I just eating the rind? And it kind of, I, I guess it kind of tastes a little bit like you're eating pretty much, like it's a fruit full of rind, but it's like really delicious um, rind, so, so I like it.
And you can see, um, you can see, I'm starting to get toward the um, part in the middle that has the cool pattern, but I think it still has pretty much the same texture. Okay, now, now I'm going to take a bite like right in the middle and then, then you can kind of see the texture. But like I said, um, if you really want to see like the cool texture, then slice it in half instead of, um, instead of one that has a whole bunch of bite marks on. Like unless you think bite mark texture looks cool and then, and then this will be better for those, those kind of folks. Oh, and I, I don't know exactly how much this costs. I think it costs 20 or um, I think it costs 20 baht, which is about 80 cents. But I think I got, I think I got two dragon fruit, one persimmon and a kilo of mandarin oranges, like the really cheap mandarin oranges with a whole bunch of seeds for about 110 baht. 110 to 120 baht. So I'm guessing that the price of this persimmon is about 20 baht in all of that. So so um, so I think it's a more premium fruit in Thailand, but but still like relatively um, <clears throat> relatively cheap. And then there, um, unlike an apple, like the stuff in the middle, um, like it's a different if it's a different texture, but it's it's really like similar to a tomato, um, not not similar to the texture of a tomato, but similar to that, you um, when you're eating a tomato, like this, then you just get more and more um, of like the same texture instead of an apple where there's a um, part in the, uh, an apple or, or a pear where there's a part in the middle that just has a much rougher texture. And you can kind of you can kind of see from here that if you were to slice it this way, there would be a cool star pattern. But like I said, there um, there are a bunch of like teeth marks. Oh, and then persimmons can't grow around like Bangkok or South Thailand. Um, persimmons can only grow in northern Thailand because it's too hot in southern Thailand, and persimmons are a more cool, um, cool fruit or cool tree fruit, or the, um, a, a fruit or a, a tree that likes cool weather. And oh. Oh, and I, I remember the comparison that I was trying to make with the tomato. So, like a tomato, the um, mo the part that's the most inside is squishier than the outside, and that's the same as this. It's not too much squishy because it's all pretty much it's all pretty firm, 
um, and especially for for this Thai one, which I'm pretty sure is less ripe than the one you'll get in the um, in the store wherever you are, uh, um, unless you're listening to me from Thailand. And then I, uh, like like a lot of questions are about like how to get this off, but I found that if you eat it like an apple, then it pretty naturally like comes, um, comes off. And um, usually I throw this away, and actually I've never eaten this before, but I'm pretty sure it's edible. Otherwise, there would be warnings on the side saying don't eat the um, crusty thing on the top, so I'm just going to try it. Hmm. And this... So I kind of don't recommend that because it, well, it tastes okay if you like tree bark, but it basically tastes like tree bark. And I realized that I would, um, in order for me to be able to swallow it, I would have needed to keep chewing for another 15 minutes. And um, I always try to keep my videos lively and entertaining. So sorry, sorry for spitting that out. Yeah, I, I recommend not eating that unless you have 15 minutes and you enjoy chewing on wood bark. But I'm pretty sure it's edible, so uh, maybe boil it before um, for a long, long time. So that's my um, instructional video on how to eat a persimmon just like an apple, and hopefully you liked it. Thanks very much.